Hey everyone, welcome back to Alf's Mustang Garage. Today we're working on a seat belt reminder light, is what this is called. Uh, I almost said seat belt warning light. It's not a warning light. It's just a it's a reminder. This is an accessory option that I believe began in 1966. Um, they may have been 65 models. I'm not 100% sure. If you know more about this, leave a comment in the comments. Because um, there isn't a whole lot of information that I can find about these. So I'm learning about this. Um, but what we're doing is we're going to bench test this. Now the way this works, it's not connected to your seat belts at all. It has no idea that you actually connected your seat belt. Um, this was just an accessory option that, um, you know, if you ordered your Mustang and added this, you know, $15 accessory option, um, it's connected to this uh, relay. Um, and it's kind of like a timed relay, but it's, you know, it's all mechanical. There's, there's a, a biometric, I'm sorry, bimetallic strip in there that as it heats up, it bends and breaks the connection. And I'm going to show you how this works internally. I'm going to show you how to bench test this thing. Um, but it's kind of a cool little deal if you actually have one of these original. I know there's some repop ones that are, you know, not overly great from what I read. I've never actually bought one. But if you have an original and it still works, it's probably pretty cool. It's probably pretty unique to your car. Um, so let's jump into bench testing this and showing you the operation. Okay, so first thing when you want to like hook this up, um, now again, because there's such, there, there's such a limited amount of information that I can find on this, um, it's really hard to see how it's you know, c you know connected correctly inside the car. But for bench testing purposes, you have to run you know a power lead to both green leads. There is a green lead. For the relay there's also a green lead for the light and the light also has a separate ground and that's what the relay connection creates and breaks is the ground connection for the light and that's what turns it on and off so but when you're bench testing i got a power lead hooked up to my battery down here on the ground and so you either want to connect both of them at the same time or you can simply just kind of plug them together like that and then connect your test lead. So now that I have power there, I, I now effectively have power going to both circuits. And the reason why you want to do that, if you only hook it up to one, um, you, will, you will see a voltage reading on both the relay and the bulb, but because electricity takes the path of least resistance, it's gonna go through the bulb and power on the bulb um, and not power up the relay, so the bulb will just be a constant on. So that's why you have to have these each getting accessory power. So uh, power is gonna go through the bulb and through the purple wire is the ground, and then power is gonna go down here to the relay and then this little tab right here is the ground tab and I'll touch more up on that later but let me flip this around so we can see so as I touch this to ground making your ground connection when this mounts up in the car this little tab right here is going to be making contact to chassis ground and so my light turns on and it will automatically turn itself off just like that. I want to reset that. It is self resetting. So as soon as you remove this, it actually will cool off, remake the connection. And then, um, you know, you can turn it back on and it will turn back off all by itself. So, so that's a seatbelt reminder light. Seatbelt reminder. I keep wanting to say warning lights. It's just not a. Cause that's a modern car thing. Seatbelt warning lights is a modern car thing. This is a accessory seatbelt reminder light. So, so there's your bench test. 
Now let me show you how this works internally. This is where, um, you know, it's really cool to see the actual inside workings of this relay. Um, if you actually have one of these originals that's functional, this is really cool to see. So check this out. Okay, so we have our electrical connectors off of here. And so what we wanna do is just remove these tabs here. We have six tabs that will kind of unlock the case. And so we're gonna get the smallest screwdriver we can find. And we're just gonna gently kind of pry open these tabs here. Okay, so I have all the tabs kind of pry it up a little bit. Okay, so what you want to watch is you have two metallic strips here, okay? Now, as electricity passes through this winding, what it's going to do is actually heat up this strip, and it's going to bend downward and thus break the connection from this strip, which is the essentially the circuit for the light bulb. Okay, so and the, the the power comes on with with key on, and it just lasts for a moment. It'll heat up and then break the connection. So you'll see the light right here turn on, and then it just automatically turns off. And you're just gonna have this time thing. Once it cools off, uh, that strip will bend back and remake the connection. So here we go. As you can see the bulb turned off. You can actually see the metal bending. You can actually see the connection broken there. And that's how that works. Take, this, take the ground off. Let that cool off. It'll just kind of slowly come back. So this is like really cool to actually see this in operation. Um, let's try it again just to kind of show you. I'm going to connect my lead down here on the battery this time. There it is, completely open circuit. And now my battery is disconnected and you can see it already coming back in. Look at that. Ground it again, opened right back up. Very cool. So, just to kind of reiter reiterate how I connected this. Um, here's your relay, and I had to have power connected to both of these green circuits. There's like two circuits. One is for the relay, one is for the bulb. Um, with your test leads, you can connect them together or just plug them in like so. And then your power is going to be distributed evenly 
one to the relay, one to the bulb, and then this is the operation of that bulb. I got the case back on there now, hooked up the ground, got the power right there, lights on, lights off. It will not reset until I remove the power and you got to give it a little bit of time. It resets relatively quickly but uh, back again and off. Okay so that's it for our seatbelt reminder tutorial video um, operation how to bench test how they work um as always we really appreciate you being here we appreciate you watching and supporting the channel and if you haven't uh, subscribed uh, already uh please do so if, if you found this video to be valuable please give her a thumbs up and share it with uh you know other people that uh, may want to know this kind of information um because there's not a lot of information out there about seatbelt reminder lights so um so there you go uh Appreciate it, as always. We'll catch you next time.